Welcome in to another edition of the Leadership Library, hosted by CEO and author Rocky Romanella. Rocky is the author of the book, Tighten the Lug Nuts, The Principles of Balanced Leadership, and has over 40 years of business experience as a prominent member of the UPS Supply Chain Solutions team, as well as the CEO of Unitech Global Services. So sit back, grab your notebook, and take a seat, and get ready for this edition of the Leadership Library. Welcome to the Leadership Library Podcast. I'm your host, Rocky Romanello. And in this series, we've been talking about this concept of, are you creating a microtoxic work environment? And in our previous one, we kind of described that toxic work environment. And then we talked a little bit about how emails can be a source of that toxic work environment. We've talked in, in previous episodes a little bit about this valuing people's personal times, understanding their personal times, and showing them that you care about their personal time. It, I believe this is also part of a toxic, you know, micro toxic work environment. If you're that leader who doesn't value someone's personal time. And although all of us say they value others personal time, often their actions say otherwise. If you are scheduling meeting during off hours or scheduling day of meetings, your actions speak louder than words because people have planned days. Most people have 80, 90% of their day planned with other meetings, other activities, maybe visits with customers, visit with peers inside an organization, other staff functions. And so every time you as the leader schedule a day of meeting or a meeting in off hours, you're really obligating them to be at those meetings. And so now their day becomes what their normal day was. You either add to the beginning or add to the end of it. If you have a demanding client, for example, that maybe wants to have an eight o'clock meeting once a week to talk about KPIs or talk about where they are inside an organization or how you're doing with their solution that you've made for them, for example, but your normal typical day that you want your people to start is nine o'clock, well, then that customer may warrant you changing the schedule. That individual has to start at eight o'clock. They start at eight, but they may end at four where someone else may start at nine and end at five. Make appropriate accommodations for these individuals. They may not, ex if you say to them, hey, look, I know you got to start at eight o'clock every Monday to have that conversation with, with that customer. I appreciate you doing it. You know what? Get out of here by four o'clock today. Or if it's virtual, hey, by four o'clock, you know, get off your computer, work computer and spend time with your family. They, they may still do that on their own, but that's their decision. It's not a decision that you force them to say, hey, look, we're a nine to five company. Unfortunately, you got to start at eight, but you're still working until five. That's not valuing their personal time. And so make accommodations, show them that you care, you know, take that first step. Don't make them come to you and ask you, hey, you know, I'm starting at eight o'clock on Mondays. You know, that means by four o'clock, you know, I'm done, right? Well, now, now they're in that awkward position. Many people won't even come and ask you that. Many of them will just stay at 05. So be that individual, that caring leader who understands their people well enough to understand that. Let me go and talk to you about that before you have to talk to me about that. I think most people have their days planned. If, if you've trained them properly, 80% of their day is probably planned. It's planned when they wake up in the morning. Some of them the night before have already gone through what their next day is going to look like. So these last minute meetings or meetings added off the hours can really der derail an individual both personally and professionally. So pay attention to that. And finally, it's, it's, it's consideration to the time of the meeting. If it's a 45 meeting, 45 minute meeting, somewhere around 35, 40 minutes in, you got to say, Hey, we got about 10 minutes left. These podcasts are, are three to five minutes. Uh, I got to be pay attention to the three to five minutes. The person of course me right now, waving his arms at me is telling me it's time for me to say good night, say goodbye. Thanks for being a member of the leadership library family. And I hope you enjoy these podcasts. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the leadership library, a biweekly podcast designed to help you find your leadership. Aha moment to access Rocky Romanella for consulting keynote speaking or training your business, head to tightenthelugnuts.com. You can also head to tightenthelugnuts.com and click the link for Leadership Library to see this episode or every episode recorded by Rocky Romanella in the Leadership Library. And until next episode, remember, the speed of the leader determines the pace of the path.